I am pleased to report that today is the funny number of ASA. It is episode 69! Hooray! Anyways, let's get straight into the question starting with Sinker Films and he says, What inspired your channel logo? So my favorite artist actually inspired my PFP and so I kind of copied with like the googly eyes and stuff. I added it onto a Star Wars Rebel Stormtrooper because that's my favorite type of Lego Stormtrooper and that's just kind of how it happened. So yeah. Next question is from Ace Gamer Studios and he says, ASA, what are your current thoughts on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series potato? Thank you for the potato. Honestly, I still feel like it's too early to have any real thoughts and opinions because like I liked the first two episodes like a lot. Episode three was kind of blech and then episode four was just bad. I'm only four episodes in as of right now when I'm making this video there's only been four episodes released. I think that when the series is completely over I'll be able to tell or not but currently I don't hate it but I don't certainly love it, you know? I'm hoping that the last two episodes are like amazing, like knock my socks off and then I'll love it. Next question is from the Zavrak Bricks and he says, ASA, have you seen the leaks for the new Kenobi sets? Yes, I have because technically they were revealed. The Inquisitor ship looks really cool. I absolutely love that. I can't wait to get it. I already pre-ordered it and I should get it like probably like August 3rd or something because that's when it'll like arrive. The Brickheads look pretty cool. I will say though that the one set uh, Vader versus Obi-Wan or whatever it's called. It's not very good. It's kind of ugly. So the minifigures are okay, but it's just, I don't know. That set's kind of a, a miss for me, but I'm still going to get it. So... <laughs> Next question is from, or I guess questions, is from M Pen, and he says, ASA, I have three questions if I may ask first time questioner. Well, welcome and thank you for asking questions. And so the first question is, what aspect of LEGO do you like most? Being it the product itself, the vast amount of communities available, the ability to create anything you want based on your collection and pieces along with your imagination or all of the above. Honestly, I just love like everything about Lego. I've always loved Lego since I was a kid, but I think my favorite, even though this wasn't like one of your suggested options, if, if you will, is the minifigures. I just, I absolutely love minifigures and I think Lego has been knocking it out of the park with the minifigures this year. They're just so good. Like absolutely amazing. Second question is, do you personally like licensed or unlicensed Lego themes or both? As most people have their preferred types of Lego themes between the two or enjoy both. Technically, I guess I I would say I like license themes more. License themes, I, that's a tongue twister, because I really like Lego Star Wars and obviously that's licensed, but I do like Lego City or like Creator. I don't own any sets or buy them ever, but they're pretty cool. So I guess I would say both, but I really just love Lego Star Wars. That's like all I buy. So yeah. And then the third question is, which trilogy era is your personal favorite from Star Wars and why? And then he says this, I'm just going to add it in because it was nice. He says, thank you. I hope I can ask more questions in the future and I hope your day is going well wherever you are in the world. Yes, it is going pretty good as of right now, so thank you. And yes, you can ask as many questions as you want. There's no limit. And I appreciate you asking questions. So, uh, yeah, yes. Anyways, to answer the question about the Star Wars trilogy, I just love the original trilogy. I love the Empire. My allegiance is to the Empire and that's just the best trilogy in my opinion, you know. I don't think you can beat it. And so like I love episode 4, 5 and 6 and I really like Rogue One too. Next question is from CF Productions and he says, "Hey, say do you think that the new Andor set is overpriced potato potato thank you for the potatoes so I don't typically complain about Lego sets being too overpriced I usually just buy them anyway so which is probably a stupid mentality that's kind of like the meme where it's like shut up and take my money I just buy Lego Star Wars every time they release a new set other than maybe UCS sets I only buy those occasionally so I don't think it's overpriced I think it's a decent price maybe it could have been ten dollars cheaper I'm sure that would have been nicer next question is from Vader Bricks and he says ASA do you have a significant other. As of right now, I do not, so no. I am currently single right now, so yeah. Next question is from BT Animations, and he says, ASA, is Star Wars Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels better? Potato, and then whatever this thing is. And then he also says, you just got yourself a sub. So thank you very much for subbing. I don't know if you meant to say the Clone Wars or Clone Wars. I'm going to assume you meant the Clone Wars because everyone likes the Clone Wars the most. And so I'm going to say the Clone Wars, though. That's just, that's better than Rebels. I do like Star Wars Rebels, but the Clone Wars is way better. I think everyone can agree on that. And then our next question is from Hershey Animations and he says two things. One, which is better? Rebels or Clone Wars? Well, I kind of just answered that even though he put Clone Wars as well. So he might be talking about this show, but who likes this show? Anakin ate bugs in one episode. It's so stupid. What is that? Lunch. 
How can you eat that? But master, you're the one who always taught me to feed off the living force. That's not what I... So yeah, I'm like, I, I, I don't like it. And two, I was able to attend Star Wars Celebration this year. What did you think of it? So I only watched a tiny little bit of Star Wars Celebration because I wanted to see the trailers for the new shows or series and maybe a movie if there was going to be any. It was kind of cool, but it was kind of cringe too. There's just moments where it's like, move on. And I got so turned off when they just kept talking about Willow. It's like, this is Star Wars Celebration. Yes, I know that Willow is a Lucasfilm company or product, but it's like, move on. I want to hear about Star Wars, not Willow. I wouldn't have even wanted to hear about Indiana Jones more than what they talked about, you know? Like, I think they did it right with Indiana Jones. It was like they talked about it for like two minutes and then boom, they moved on. I didn't care for Star Wars Celebration, but I liked the trailers. That is the ones that I got to see. Next question is from Selton of the Brick. I think I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. ASA, if you had to go to another country, where would you go? Honestly, I would just leave it up to fate. Let the wind blow. Take me wherever the wind blows kind of deal. I honestly don't know how to answer this question. Um, maybe Canada because Canada's cool and everyone's there is really nice apparently so um I don't know though <laughs> And our last question is from The Mandalorian, and he says, ASA, Mandalorian or Boba Fett? Well, I'm sorry to do this to you, Mr. Mandalorian, but I'm going to pick Boba Fett because Boba Fett has just been a favorite of mine ever since I was a kid. So, yes. That's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching this episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for your questions. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. It helps out the channel a lot. It shows YouTube that people want to watch, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you ask a question or two in the comments for the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Time.